Hi, I'm Matthew Giffen, visual artist and musician working in southwestern Ontario. As an artist, I'm sometimes asked about influences. What do you call this style of work is a question that often comes up. I could simply say abstract, but that is pretty apparent right at the outset. The fact is, I really don't have a label for it. I've always drawn this way. It's just how I do it. I can look at your work now and say, God, that's a Matt Giffen. I mean, that's, you've got your, your style. Mm -hmm. And I think for someone as, as young as you are, that's, that's quite an amazing feat that you've found this area to work in. I like the way images flow into one another. I like seeing like a bird turn into a man and a man turn into a star or whatever. That's how I think. Everyone has a unique point of view. Who knows why the world speaks to us in the way that it does? The important thing is that it does and that we listen and follow the pathway that reveals itself as a result. For me, as a very young child of two or three, certain combinations of shapes and colors seem to elicit a deep visceral reaction. It was just how the world spoke to me. It's impossible to say why. There is nature, and there is nurture. My mother was an artist. She created paintings and sculptures. One of her paintings is in the permanent collection of the Art Gallery of Windsor. My father was a writer who had a great facility with words. He created the ad campaigns for the Chevrolet trucks back in the 60s. Chevrolet! from Michigan. My parents definitely modeled a curious and creative worldview, but I would have to say that the spell that certain colors and shapes held over me when I was very young predated any influence that they may have had. In terms of art or music, I am inspired by artists who create work that is lyrical and melodic that brings an emotional or creative response. The style is less a factor than whether or not it has a timeless quality. That is the kind of work that for me is most influential. There is no formula that an artist can follow to achieve this. I think the best thing you can do is simply get out of your own way and follow what feels right. Follow your bliss, as Joseph Campbell said. That opens up the pathway to a journey that will be true for you. And since we are all connected, what is true for you has a good chance of being true for others as well. That seems to me to be the promised miracle of art. It is a way to communicate with and hopefully inspire others who are on their own journey. There have been many inspired people who have influenced me in this way.